hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm so sorry i haven't been here lately i have been so busy with work and other personal issues but i'm here now and today i have a special topic to discuss we're going to talk about erectile dysfunction the causes and possible treatments okay let's get into it so number one Number one cause of erectile dysfunction is vascular diseases, okay? So the vascular diseases like high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, and lack of exercises, okay? Then number two is diabetes, okay? We all know that the longer you have diabetes, the more likely you are to have erectile dysfunction, Okay, so diabetes affect the blood flow and nerves to the penis. All right. And then number three is uh, the pelvic surgeries. Okay, these are surgeries that happen in the lower abdomen. All right. So when you have surgeries in your lower abdomen, they, you, they are likely to affect your erectile dysfunction. Then another thing is the medications. So there are certain medications that will cause erectile dysfunction, right? Yeah, so some, some other surgeries that uh, may affect erectile dysfunction are prostate cancer uh, type of surgeries. But the main uh, thing or main cause is the blood flow. If you, you, you lack blood flow to your penis, that is the main cause, all right? Yeah. So let's look at the uh, treatments or some of the treatments. So uh, anything that allows uh, blood flow to your penis will help you, you know, recover from that. Though there are some medications that you will be given in order to help with your erectile dysfunction. As long as, you know, they give some pills and what not so it is very important that you see your primary care doctor or urologist they need to examine you for cardiac disease okay because uh, erectile dysfunction could be the first sign of a heart attack or heart disease all right so we need to see our doctors whenever we have these problems we should not ignore at any time so your doctors will also examine you or your doctors will also uh, uh, test you. Uh, they will give you, they will actually request for certain tests like testosterone levels, like in the morning. Uh, they will do testosterone levels early in the morning to check if your hormones also are contributing to your erectile dysfunction. All right. And mostly in relationships or marriages, People are going through these problems. These are serious problems, actually. So for women that have men that are facing these problems, do not think that a man is not, uh, you know, um, a man when he's going through such serious problems. Okay, you could be the reason that could help your man, you know, go to a doctor, see a doctor and, uh, you know, improve him, like improve yourselves, improve your relationship by seeing a doctor you never know the doctor could treat him and mostly you are facing challenges like you know you're failing to have a baby due to the same reasons so as a woman you shouldn't judge your man because of that do not judge uh, your man based on that they could be have uh, could be having a very serious health problem and you can be the only person that can help them so give them some courage uh, uh, you know uh, take them to the doctor, take them to see their doctor so that the doctors should be able to assist them in the, be in the best possible ways, you know, and recover from that. All right. We shouldn't cheat on our partners because we assume that, oh, no, maybe it could be due to um, other situations or maybe he does not just want you to you know uh, enjoy him or he does not love you enough men do go through these uh, critical problems and they decide to keep them to themselves and they take uh you know into their hands uh you know wrong decisions 
you know, uh, they would uh, seek uh, help from friends or other people that are not even specialized. So it's best that as a couple, as partners, you see a specialist like a sexual uh, therapist or, you know, psych, uh, psychologist so that you are best uh, helped in a, uh, you know, uh, right way we avoid certain problems from occurring so that we save our relationships all right so this is what i had uh for you today i hope uh you will have chance to get to learn more in my next video okay bye bye for now catch you in the next video